Now we're going to dip into our chocolate. This is white chocolate that we've dyed orange. We're just going to stick that in, take off any of the excess. We're going to bring it over here and place it into our bowl of ice water. Have some that are already ready, and we're just going to slip that off. I'm going to come over here and fill it with my whipped cream. Lay that like this. Take my second one. Just like that. Place it here. Come and get a third one. Fill this one. And I'll place it here. Now I'm going to show you how to make bunny ears with the marshmallow. We're going to cut our jumbo marshmallow in two. Now we're going to cut it diagonally across. Now we have our bunny ears. We're going to place it into our cinnamon. Press our marshmallows in there. Now we have our cinnamon bunny ears. And we're going to take these to the fridge. Just pop these in there. And now we'll take our carrot cake batter. I have my carrot cake batter here. We're going to start by filling our molds halfway. Now I'm going to take some caramel and we're going to start pouring that into our molds. And these are just some chewy caramels that have melted down. And this is going to give a nice little caramel center to our carrot cake. I'm going to add in some grated carrot. We're just going to grate that right over. A little extra carrot, a little healthier. And we're going to come back and we're going to cover them with our carrot cake batter. And this is going to all bake in together. Now I'm going to take this to the oven. I'm going to place this into a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. Our donuts are out of the oven and they've had some time to cool down. Now we're going to flip them out of their mold. Now it's time to glaze our donuts. Bring them over here. I have some melted white chocolate. We're just going to dunk those right in there. Press down that they get nice and covered. Our glaze. Right. Take our donuts out of the chocolate. We're just going to let that drain for just a couple seconds. And now we're going to take it and we're going to flip it onto our plate. I'm going to take this time to put together our little Easter bunnies. I have my donuts here. Scoop one up onto our plate. Start by putting the little feet here in the front. Now we're going to stick on the paws. We'll just add a little bit of white chocolate here and we'll just stick that right there. We're going to push our last little foot on. And now for the decoration, we're going to come in and we're going to give a little bit of chocolate on the paws. Dip it back into our chocolate on the side and the bottom. Now we'll place him with his friends on the plate. This is a great tablescape for your Easter table. We'll add our little carrots. And for a final touch, we'll add in our mint. Look. There you go, the perfect Easter dessert. We're gonna roll this up. You're gonna have an awesome flavor. You got some sweet, you got some salty, you got some bitterness, you got some, you got it all. You got it all. Close your flaps in. And now we tie it up. So you pretty much grab this one here. Make yourself a nice tight, tight knot. And we're gonna do the same with all of them. So you just do this. And make sure that all the flaps are closed in. We can go ahead and cut this off so there's no excess. We go, cut that, cut that, and cut that. Grab this bad boy and bring it onto the plancha. Let that cook. We're gonna go ahead and keep on rolling it over. All right, guys, last turn. Bring it over just to sear the last end. Look at that beautiful color. Okay, and now let's get these ends nice. 
One more ant to go. Bring it on here. We're gonna flip it over and cover it. And go ahead and cover it. And this is a bourbon pecan glaze. Yes, it's a lot, but it's gonna go all the way around, so don't worry guys. Like this. Like this. Into the oven it goes. Okay, we are back from the oven. Got this beautiful pecan crust. We'll go ahead and cut this open. Grab on to that. Beautiful. Got those bones on the bottom. So now we're just gonna come in here. Look at that beautiful color, guys. And we're gonna remove our potatoes. I wish you could smell this, guys. It smells delicious. And we have our piece of beef here. We come through with a little pepper, a little salt, just like this. Okay, a little pepper, and as you can see, there is a piece here for everyone, whether it's medium, rare, medium rare, or well done. Enjoy. You can find more recipes like this at chefclub.tv.